All right, Mona, we're going to take a little bit or talk a little bit rather about uncovering history by taking you to Schoolyard Winery. Now it's in Verona, Kentucky, and for 59 years it was a high school. But today, well, you can go there and sip Chardonnay. So does this winery make the grade? Come along. Let's find out. From 1914 to 1973, this building was Verona, Kentucky's high school. Today, it's a winery. Husband and wife Gary and Connie Yance both took their passion for wine and their freed up retirement time to restore this old schoolhouse, patching up a fallen roof and rebuilding collapsed floors to turn it into what it is today. What is your favorite part about this building? Because there's a lot of history here. There's a lot of different things that I like. I, it, well, the biggest thing is you like seeing what you've done. It was pretty exciting redoing. Uh, I don't think I will do it again, but uh, <laughs> one time. <laughs> maybe in a second life. <laughs> yeah, maybe in a second life. <laughs> um, let's get to the important stuff, the wine. Okay. What is the crowd favorite wine out of all of these that we're looking at right now? I would say the uh, schoolhouse is the biggest seller of the dry wines, which it is a Cab Saif. And of the whites, they more like the sweeter version. So that would be the one we call our recess, which is a, a Niagara, mm -hmm. which is very sweet. That's, yes. Head of the class, teacher's pet. What does that say? Recess, yeah. fire drill. This is, this, there is a jalapeno in this wine. Schoolyard Winery serves roughly 14 wines, ranging from dry to sweet, each with a playful name relating back to its schoolhouse roots. Gary and Connie also grow grapes on the property, creating small batches that you can't find anywhere else. Let's um, backtrack a little bit and talk about how you got into the wine business and why. Well, I've got into it from my wife's people in Germany that's had grapes growing for generations. Just started trying small batches of it and started making some pretty good wines ourselves. So then we just said, well, when we retire, we'll do a hobby winery. And <laughs> so which, much for that. Yes, and it's kind of gotten out of hand, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's still been fun. Describe what you want people to feel when they walk in this space and what they want to experience. We, we like people when they come in to feel comfortable mm -hmm. and to have one-on-one -on -one conversation with mm -hmm. us. We just don't want you to grab your wine and go sit down. We like to talk to people and we, and we enjoy that. And that's, I think that's the most rewarding thing of this is mm -hmm. being able to talk to people and uh, so you can come by and have a glass of wine, not be pressured to buy a bunch mm -hmm. and just sit back and enjoy it. Yeah, and there's plenty to try. Yes. All right, Gary, thank you. All right, thank you.